Right. Not many buttercups, and there's somebody spraying some sort of poison. Because they've got masks on, and I've just walked across that. I've also noticed in the field I'm in, but right over there, cows. Sat down at the moment. Right across there. But down there, there's a fence. I mean, if necessary, I'd jump over that fence. I would. I don't even know if that's where I used to walk. I don't even know if that's where I used to walk that side or not. I just got to be careful. There's one that stood up anyway. But if necessary, I'll just get in there. I'm not sure about the cows down there. Whether they... What they're up to. I can't remember really. I mean, it's only a year ago, but things change so quickly. I mean, they're right up there. They're not curious at the moment. I so say, if I have to, I'll get in there. I don't care if it's stinging nettles or anything. I'll get over. I'll get over. There might be a gate in a minute anyway. If they stood up and started coming, I'd be over. I'd start getting over it now. I wouldn't wait. No, I wouldn't wait. I said I don't know if we used to walk the other side of this fence. If this is a new fence or anything, I, mean, I don't normally have cows in here. But it's a beautiful view, though, isn't it? I mean, I don't like the thought of them spraying stuff. I don't think farmers did that anymore. I've had to walk through that field and it's churning up the air. This is a beautiful walk though. You can see where the cows have been down here. I mean, I can't remember having it humpy bumpy like this before. It could be that we were going down a path there and the farmer in there has pinched the land back. I can see a gate though if I have to get out. I can see a gate, but they're not moving. They're sunbathing, they're nice and warm. Brent Knoll in the distance. Just gonna turn off for a minute and turn back on and make sure it's yeah, because uh, sometimes it's getting close to near the end of the amount of memory. So sometimes it can um, cut out and, and it doesn't always save. Yeah, I think we're safe. I can see a gate. I just hope that gate don't lead in because there are cows in the field there. I just hope that is just a little lane still like it always was. Because these cows can be frisky. I can remember once when I was going and have filled further over there from the cops. There was a, a field that was okay at a table. It had a bench in there. It was lovely. I had my picnic there. It was beautiful. And I called all this my Somerset garden. Anyway, what happened was I got further over. I thought oh, I'd try and get down over that way somewhere like you do. But these cows, they didn't like it, the, fit, the, the cows, they had calves. No, they didn't like it, they started mooing at me and everything. I had to quickly get away. Yeah, I only just got away from them. Got be so careful the cows. Just going to take a picture a minute, just turn it off again. Right, that's where Lords of the Manor live down there. Nice big, beautiful, positioned home down there. And they've got all this. They own all this as well. They, they don't never do anything with it. I, I don't think they even have horses. They I think they're the orchard growers. Anyway, I've just come down from there. I kind of think this is all new, you know. It looks new, doesn't it? I know I was here last year, but I'm sure we were. We came down further over. I don't know. I don't know. It lines up with this gate, so we probably didn't. 
but it does look like new barbed wire. And this is um, probably owned by people that grow the apples, the orchard people here. You have to do that because there's cows in the field, otherwise they get down here. There's a nice little pretty bunch of flowers there, look. It is interesting this part of the walk. Rather than just going straight back to Winscombe, though I love all that as well. I mean, what I might do next time is um, go to Winscombe and just do a Crook's Peak round walk. Not exactly walk up this way, because this is a hell of a hike, you know. I don't really need to do it if I've... If I've done it now, I don't really need to um, do the reverse, really. I think I'll just come, I'll just come over to Winscombe again and do a circular walk, basically. Got the peak. I've already done the locks and things, so what's the point in doing that again? Maybe I'll do it much later in the year. That's plan A, anyway. So I always find it a bit of a drag having to go all the way through um, up the beach and that, because I live there. Oh, look, there's some little doggies. They say hello. Hello! Hello, you're saying hello, are you? Oh, more to come. Okay. Oh, how lovely. Oh. How lovely to be greeted by such lovely dogs. <sighs> All right. Oh, it's okay, babies. Hello, good boy. What sort of you? Somebody having a good old bark. <laughs> <laughs> I got you on video. Hello? Hello? Good boy, good boy. You doing your guard duty? How are you? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So, hello? Oh, good boy. Good boy. Come on. There's a good boy. Yeah. Yes, you are. Good boy. Hello. Oh, dear. I'll let you go. You'll get too distressed. Hey, look at that view. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, you're beautiful.